Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today what we're going to be taking a look at and as well excited to bring you guys as always when I get new figures, I'm really excited to bring you guys these figures and these reviews. Um we're going to be taking a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle um two pack with Splinter and Shredder and this is from the um from the first movie. Um so I was really excited to find this cuz I actually found it in store. Um, as you can see in the thumbnail, and was really surprised that this fig these figures were even restocked on on the Walmart um on Walmart in general just because the the new ones that came out are the Secret of the Ooze. So really surprised to see these guys, and now I can also do a comparison with um the Shredders with the red and the blue or purple suit, whatever you want to call it, and the Super Shredder. Um, but taking a look at the box, as always, NECA delivers and gives you a nice open window box um, that commemorates the original movie. On the back of the box, you do have a, a nice little, um, nice little images. Um, I believe that it's kind of like um, ways you can pose the figure. And, you know, they're just images from the figure themselves. And on the side, you do have the images of the turtles, Leo, Raph, Mikey, and Donnie. And a little um, bio as well. If you guys want to read that, you can go ahead. And for the side, you always do get your splinter and then your shredder um, side view. But yeah, that's enough of the box, guys. Let's go ahead and actually open this up. Alright guys, um starting with the accessories. Um this is the accessories that Splinter bring. Zooming into this cool TGRI um canister. This is the first one I do have that looks like this from my NECA figures. Um, he also brings these set of hands right here. The ones right here pointing his fingers. Sort of like Raphael, don't do that. <laughs> and then over here you got these um, where you can put hit weapons through. I guess the nunchucks as you can put them through his hands right there. These are awesome nunchucks, but nothing new. We've seen these nunchucks for Mikey. Um, and my favorite are these slippers, which I'm going to be having a lot of fun with these guys. Um, and the cool piece, so this is a new one as well for me. And then the staff for Shredder. And so you can only pose Shredder with one side of his hands with these spikes. Um, it would have been cool if you would be able to have them both, but I guess it wants to be movie accurate. Um, and then he brings his little pocket holster for that little um, knife. And then a, another fisted hand, but this one you can actually pass that staff through and he'll be holding that hand and another thing that i did like and i'll show you guys right here is that the cape actually came separate it's in this bag so my two pack well my single pack shredder the purple one um it already came with the cape on but and then you get this cool awesome backdrop but enough of that let's get down to the figures themselves all right, guys, so onto the figures themselves. Um, you can see, um, starting with Splinter, that Splinter is actually done really well. Um, really surprised um, how much I like this figure because I'm really not a big uh, Splinter fan when it comes to the action figures. And honestly, this is the first one that I can really say that I really enjoy having. And I know I'm going to have tons of fun. Um, just making like a cool display with him and the turtles is I know it's gonna be cool but onto the details the um first of all the clothes are is done really really well like perfect um the bendy wire kind of tail is kind of bendy um his face expression and that you can change his um hands so you can give him some different expressions and cool ones um so that's pretty cool underneath you can see his legs 
everything is done right. Um, just a cool figure, cool splinter, cool little splinter figure there. I want him to fall. And then on to Shredder. Shredder over here. He's got like this glittery gold glitter going on. Which I really do enjoy. I think it's really cool. I don't know if it's screen accurate. But it does look really, really well. Um, same type of mesh that you get on the other. It's kind of like the same figure you do get from the Secret of the Ooze. I'll do a comparison video for you guys to see. But kind of looks identical. Um... You can take his, um, let's see if I take this off. You can take the, the mask off. And as I took it off earlier, you can see the silver paint on the cheek. So, uh, that be careful when you do that, guys, when you take it off. The helmet seems to be different. That's different from the purple one. Um, but, and obviously I think his head scope is different and the purple one i'll be doing a separate review uh comparison video of that but see could barely stand he's really difficult to stand um at least the one i have right there to stand him there other than that um really done well shredder like i said the the purple one is a little bit better um with just the well, mine's is on the joints. It's more loose and, you know, I'm able to stand them and pose them easier. But then again, this is a brand new figure just out the box. So we'll give it time. Um, what I wanted to show you guys is when you get the cape, it has these little um, little pins. Let's see if I can. Those little pins. And I guess you got to hook them on to his shoulder pads or something like that. That's why I didn't um, display it with the cape yet. Um, but overall, really well solid figure. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a 360 spin if he stands out well. And put some accessories on them. Have a little fun and show you guys um, how cool they look. And then we'll just go ahead and end the video after that. So let's go ahead and take a look at that, guys. Alright, you guys. As I figured... Um, he won't stand up with the uh rotator um so we'll just take a look at one final look at him with all the accessories well some of the accessories on just like this um without having him spinning on the 360 rotator he kept falling so um but either way really well done figure um what i've noticed i got to put the cape i don't i'm not sure if in the movie the cape covers his shoulder pads, let me know on the comments below. But that's the way it kind of like uh, stood best on on the figure. And um, also like to show you guys um, the cape. The cape is really big. <laughs> Look at that, and it kind of has like this um, this kind of um, right up here has a bendy wire. Which is cool. Um, but I do like that the cape is removable. And you can use um, display the figure without the cape. I really enjoy that. Um, as far as the one from the Secret of the Ooze. Mine's came with it on. I'm not sure if it's removable. I don't think so. But I'm not going to try. Um, so that's a difference. Um, but like I said, we'll be doing a comparison video uh, with the Shredders another time. Right now, um, I really, really enjoy this figure. I don't know if I like him more than the Secret of the Ooze one. I'll let you guys know. But for right now, this figure, the cape is definitely different. It's way bigger. Um, but yeah, guys, the Shredder is awesome. Really awesome. And let's go ahead and take a look at um, Splinter over here. Move him to the side. And then if you want to take a look at Splinter... I did when I had him put his uh, flip flops on and then his nunchuck on. See if I can um, see if he can stand. I haven't tried standing him up with these slippers. I don't know if it'll be. There you go. Kind of have to lean him a little bit forward. Um, but he also looks amazing with the um, flip flops. I was going to put this pizza in his hand, but. Um, 
I don't want it to fall off while I'm trying and I don't want to waste any more time. But the two pack is fun, is really cool. Um, it's awesome for the collection and I'm gonna be doing um probably some cool shorts with these figures. And like I said, I'll be doing a comparison video with the other shredders, so stay tuned for that. And you can't go wrong with this two pack, guys. Um honestly. I was surprised to find the two-pack in Walmart. Like I said, I thought these were not selling anymore, being that Secret of the Ooze came out, but they are. So, guys, check your local Walmart for these, um, for this two-pack. You might find it, you might not. Maybe check um, the website. Uh, but overall, I do like this two-pack, and if I had any doubts if I should have gotten the Red Shredder or Skip uh getting this red shredder because i have the the other one from secret of the ooze and the super shredder um NECA does an excellent job in every figure and giving you differences from each figures for you to go ahead and get every version of the figure so i definitely think it's worth it if you are a collector if you're not a collector like that i think one sh one shredder is good enough but if you do collect and you're a big fan of TMNT, um, I would say just try to get them all because they are really well done figures. And for my, for me, my own opinion, they are worth it at retail price. Um, as far as reseller price go, I'm not sure that depends on what you're willing to pay and what they're asking for and the condition. But overall, these are amazing figures and I hope this video was helpful. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about these figures. And if you stood this long watching the video, I really do appreciate that. Um, thank you for watching. Um, if you liked it, thank you for liking. And if you would like to subscribe, go ahead. It does help the channel grow. And again, stay tuned for more of my videos. I will be trying to get more TMNT NECA stuff. And just more cool um action figures in general so just stay tuned to my channel and i'll catch you guys on my next video